hello. Um, as announced, I'm uh, Angela Wolfe, and uh, I work at the VNA. I'm going to present my personal story of um, assembling a IIIF cocktail. So, um, exactly a year ago, I was an accountant in the NHS um, and had been for about 13 years. But um, I'd had a long held um, dream of becoming a coding superstar, so I quit and uh, joined a coding boot camp in London. Um, six months later, I found myself at a desk um, at the VNA um, as, a, as a new and very junior developer. Um, I was immediately put to test with, with new technical terms like IIIF and Pico Paso. Um, I was left wondering why my boot camp hadn't pre prepared me very well for these uh, new technological terms. Um, you know very well what IIIF is, um, and it turns out that Pico Paso was actually a 16th century artistic type with a passion for pottery and wasn't a coding term at all. Um, we were actually at the VNA wanting to showcase an illustrated manuscript that Pico Paso um, had uh, created. Um, it was a treatise on the um, production of Myolica. Uh, all of the pages of the manuscript had been converted into IIIF um, images, and the plan was to showcase it using the um, Universal Viewer. Uh, so this is so that um, obviously online visitors could page through the manuscript and zoom in and see all the lovely illustrations. But at the same time, we also wanted a downloadable PDF version so that people could potentially print it out and then uh, annotate the document. This would typically fall to uh, somebody from the content team to, um, uh, to create. And it was a bit of a cut and paste nightmare, really, where the, um, uh, the, the content guys would have to uh, source, uh, download all the images, resize. And um, you know, when, this, when we're talking about an, a document that might be sort of 100 pages or more, this wasn't really a very popular task. Um, it was, however, seen as a really great task for the new developer. Um, uh, and that's how I felt about it. Um, really, it shouldn't have been a, a terribly difficult task. You know, the um, slideshow viewer already encapsulated all the sequencing of the imaging uh, within the manifest. And all I really needed to do was iterate through that JSON, uh, extract the images, and convert them to a PDF. Uh, I still looked like that. Um, Fortunately, there aren't, there aren't that many tech challenges that have remained uh, undiscovered. Uh, and if you're lucky, some of them have already been solved. Um, the challenge becomes more about finding that solution and enhancing it for your own particular needs. And as a result, you get to stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, with that in mind, I introduced to you Prawn PDF, which was a pre-existing gem uh, written in the Ruby language, which was one of my uh, preferred coding languages at the time. Um, and I was able to use this extensively then to prepare a tool for converting manifests to PDFs. So along with, um, along with Prawn PDF and a little bit of uh, Ruby wizardry, um, I managed to create this tool which would take the manifest that already existed and generate a, um, a nice PDF output. I was pretty overjoyed when I um, um, put this to the test on, on a, a publicly available uh, Leonardo da Vinci manifest that we had to hand. All worked lovely. So I thought I'll try it on the newly generated uh, Pico Paso manifest. And of course, everything fell apart at the seams. Um, it seems in their wisdom, IIIF uh, created two versions or two presentations, uh, worked lovely on presentation two and totally bombed out on presentation three. So it was a little bit of back to the drawing board, uh, recrafting my, um, my little tool uh, so that it would work with both presentations. That done, I then presented to the content team. Um, and of course, whenever you present a tool to the end user, the uh, requests come tumbling in. Uh, of course, we wanted editable titles, footers, prefixes, colors, padding. Um, by the end of it, my command line tool had sort of exploded uh, to the point where I was utilizing more or less every letter of the alphabet in, in potential flag options to be entered at runtime. Uh, I therefore amended slightly so that you could then have a, um, uh, you could set some defaults in a configuration file to make the run running a little bit easier. Um, in honor of the Prawn PDF um, uh, gem, 
I initially called the tool Prawn Cocktail, but I was advised that um, it's, it's, it's uh, not best practice to lock yourself into uh, one of your dependencies in your naming. Um, after all, if I ever get to coding superstar status, I, make my, ugh, I might create my own uh, PDF, PDF generation tool to rival Prawn. So instead, I present you with a slightly more simple cocktail. So um, we have now released Cocktail, um, a IIIF manifest PDF tool. Um, it's available for you to download and use if you so wish on our GitHub page, which is uh, Vanda or, or Vanda forward slash Cocktail. Uh, very happy for you to use it. And also, if you want to um, help improve my coding journey, feel free to uh, submit a pull request and tell me perhaps how I should have written it. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>